Hello, everyone, and welcome to Blogging Theology Academy. Today, I'm delighted to talk to Dr. Yaqub Chowdhury. You're most welcome, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Thank you very much, sir. It's great to have you have you on. Now, the development of BT Academy's roster of short courses represents a paradigm shift in education for Muslims. Our short courses empower Muslims to master key areas of modern life and thought through an Islamic lens, embracing psychology, technology, the creative arts, politics, history, and Islamic thought. And today, we are thrilled to introduce our new short course about artificial intelligence development for Muslims with Dr. Jakob. He's visiting scholar at the Leverhome Center for the Future of Intelligence. And his research interests include the philosophy of AI, machine learning and digital computation and the use of AI in science and the humanities. He's authored a chapter on Islam and AI recently published in the Cambridge Companion to Religion and Artificial Intelligence. Uh, he has a PhD in physics from Imperial College and London and his recent research on the emerging intention economy based on advances in AI has been covered in the Times, the Guardian and elsewhere. So could you tell us about the course, Dr. Jakob? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, so as uh, I'm sure your uh, viewers are familiar, there's a, he, there's a widespread discourse about uh, the impact of AI technology on our society. But what seems to be absent is uh, an intellectual Islamic perspective uh, about the uh, uh, the challenges that AI raises. So this course is uniquely designed to incorporate all of the existing discourse that's uh, already going on in, in sort of philosophy in the humanities on the governance and political and economic and ethical issues related to AI technologies. Mm. But uniquely, this course will offer the Islamic perspective. So throughout the course, uh, we'll intertwine the philosophical, metaphysical and uh, quite uniquely as well, alongside this, uh, the technical. So we'll also attempt to actually engage the uh, underlying technologies directly uh, within this course while critiquing them uh, from a, a socio-technical and philosophical perspective, while at the same time adding in this unique aspect, which is the Islamic perspective on uh, the very, you know, going from the very foundations to its broader uh, impacts on our society and on the way we uh, conceive of ourselves, the nature of our reality, um, and the way we approach the discovery of knowledge and so on. Right, so th this covers quite a, a range, a, a huge combination of technical, philosophical, metaphysical, social, political, and historical instruction and discussion on AI, and how to understand it from an Islamic perspective. This sounds pretty unique. I can't think of any other course that encompasses such a broad range of, of, of topics under this umbrella AI development for Muslims. Yes, absolutely. This is uh, a unique combination. And the reason uh, the course has been designed this way is to develop a, a, a cohort of individuals who is able to enter the discourse on AI uh, in an intellectu intellectually rigorous way, uh, mm. but in particular to contribute uh, an Islamic perspective wherever they are in relation to the challenges of AI and uh, potentially sh shape uh, the development of the technology and its implementation by bringing in uh, Islamic concerns, which, as I mentioned, have so far been far absent from um, mm. discourse on the development of the and the uh, the application of this uh, technology. So it's not just uh, philosophical or metaphysical uh, Islamic. You actually have a technical uh, uh, discussion of intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence itself. So does this mean that you have to have some knowledge of AI already to participate successfully in the course? Or is it really for absolute beginners? Uh, how, how would you position it? Yeah, the, the way the way that uh, the course will unfold and the way uh, I'll be approaching the instruction uh, on the course is to provide general orientation uh, to all different types of students um, and participants in the course and in particular to meet the uh, participant where they are. Uh, so if they are on the technical side then um, those students, uh, I'll emphasize the philosophical and metaphysical and social impacts of the technology. 
um, right. so that they can bring that into the consideration into their practice, uh, their technical practice. Um, and if they are on the other end, maybe they're uh, educators uh, or in a uh, medical setting or they're, they work in government, uh, then I'll also help them become acquainted with the technical and mathematical foundations of this technology so right. they have uh, some understanding of the uh, fundamental limitations. The, the discourse at the moment contains uh, immense promises about the um, yeah. uh, the way that technology is going to revolutionize uh, different areas of our society. But how much of that is uh, actually just sub subterfuge for uh, you know different actors to bring about uh, change uh, uh, according to their particular uh, you know ideological or metaphysical perspective uh, wow. or political orientation? If we don't have uh, an in intellectual Islamic perspective mm -hmm. uh, to critically appraise the nature of this technology from its foundations and the way uh, it's being proposed to you know, transform different aspects uh, of, of the way we uh, live, work and, and uh, operate in society, then we, we will be uh, very much uh, feel as though this technology is being imposed on us rather than uh, right. being active participants in the way it's going to be uh, uh, deployed uh, in society. Another aspect which I should mention as well, which is quite unique to this course, is that we all will also be considering AI in relation to its um, the way it reconstructs the world as well uh, through the digital through the digital. Mm -hmm. um, so on the one hand, uh, in 2025, there's a uh, very significant discussion about the emergence of uh, agents, AI agents that are going to be uh, operating uh, and being delegated tasks on our behalf. Uh, but simultaneously, there's also the emergence of what are known as world models. What this entails is that uh, we are now entering uh, a, a new a, a new uh, form of society uh, where we're engaging with AI agents and AI agents are engaging in our world uh, through a digital layer that's coextensive uh, with our physical reality. Right. Uh, so we'll be taking this perspective um, to understand uh, uh, not just AI, but also the artificialization of the world uh, that mm -hmm. goes alongside with the production of AI technologies. Wow. Uh, wow. Yes, yeah, this is extremely cutting edge uh, stuff. And of course, we, we, we need to stress that every, everything you're going to be doing on the course is live. It's, we're not going to be throwing recordings at people. This is all personal one to one uh, a, a group setting, classroom settings as well. So the, the interaction level is very personal. Uh, it's unique to the person, uh, and as I say, it's not uh, not recorded. So there's a very high level of personal engagement there. So that's amazing. So uh, I think um, lastly, we, we can uh, we can say that registration is uh, now open on the Blogging Theology Academy website. Go to bloggingtheologyacademy.com, or just click on the link in the description below for, uh, and, and you'll be taken through the registration process. There's more details on there. And um, inshallah, this course will be a huge benefit uh, to Muslims to understand this extremely important development development in our world. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Yes, I just like to say that this is a tremendously exciting time uh, to be uh, involved in these discussions about AI. Uh, as everyone is aware, things are progressing very rapidly. There's the idea that we're, we've entered a phase of accelerating technological improvements. So this course is also designed to bring the participants up to speed to the very latest uh, developments throughout uh, in terms of the technical foundations through to the most up-to-date philosophical and ethical and social and political discussion uh, about these developments. Uh, so it's tremendously exciting and uh, I look forward to the students joining.